So hey everybody, I'm looking more of a hot mess today than usual. Busy, busy day at the household. So first and foremost, my shed was delivered yesterday and it weighed a ton, literally. Thank God it fit in my garage, the pallet, the whole like, you know, delivery thing. Because I was really worried it would have to be left outside, it would get stolen, or pieces would get stolen, because this is, um, I don't want to sound ungrateful or disrespectful or unkind to this area, because this is where I want to be, or where I want it to be. Um, it's just a little seedier <laughs> um, than my other neighborhood. I mean, you could leave shit out for days and nothing, you know, would happen to it. Um, yesterday, just a little funny story. I'm sitting here in my living room and that is my front window, which is, you know, the street. I had bought over a week ago an old shower caddy, like a metal shower caddy, um, but it didn't fit in my new shower. It didn't because the shower head was too big, blah, blah, blah. So I had it sitting on the side of my fence which is literally a millisecond out of my driveway. So, I mean, out of my um, garage door, my property. So this person just, I guess, circles the neighborhood for crap. I don't want to call her a hoarder. Literally walks up my driveway and takes a shower caddy. I'm like, and I could have said something, but like you sort of did me a favor by getting rid of it. But don't assume just because it's on the side of my driveway makes it okay to take. So that kind of concerns me. Like I could just leave something there accidentally and it'd be gone the next day. So um, I'm going to have to pause you one second because I need to text message. Well, that's not going to work. I pushed the wrong button, so she's going to have to wait. Um, thank God it didn't hit stop. So anyway, um... My realtor friend, who is now just a friend, um, hooked me up with two guys who arrived this morning and they are assembling, well, actually they're moving the thousand pound pallet piece by piece from the garage to the back of the house. And thankfully, um, I wish I could show you guys. I don't want to feel like I'm I'm videotaping them. So I might do, um, I should have done it before. I should have taken, you know, I should have shown you the pallet. I should have shown you where the shed was going to go. The access to the backyard just for some fun little, you know, random videos instead of me just sitting here. But I don't want them to think they're being filmed. You know, like, I, that's not cool. So um, another big day. And I'm nervous as hell. Is see this one right here? Hey, hot lips. Can I see this? Pissy pants. Are you pissy pants? So today I bit the bullet and I made a mobile grooming appointment for this one only because Lexi, well, Lexi and Casey got done by me. And um, it occurred to me they weren't, um, they don't have their Bordetella shot. And that is for kennel cough. That is for, you know, it's airborne. So they couldn't do it anyway. And it's not exactly cheap. But I did get a um, $15 off Yelp code or something. So I used that. Um, she is a hot mess. She is knotted. She cannot possibly feel good with all the, you know, straggly bits and pulleys and mats that she has. So, and this is really cool. I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if it's an, it's an app I have to download or if it's automatically like there's a feed that goes to my phone or to my tablet or whatever it goes to. You can actually see the grooming happening right there in my driveway. And I'm kind of like, do I really want to see what's going on? Because if I see what's going on and 
you know, I, I'm just, I might flip out. So, I mean, I have anxiety and she won't be 20 feet from me. That's how bad my anxiety is with her. So, um, prayers for me, please, 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 that the groomer is great. The service is great. Kamali does really, really well, strangely enough, with groomers. Um, I've never had a problem in the past saying, oh, she bit me or she was horrible or, you know, don't bring her back. Um, she's always been a good girl. With me, that's another story. She'll tear off one of my digits if I try to, like, touch her foot. So, um, please, guys, I need your prayers. Oh, God. Because, and then probably for the next two days, if the haircut is going to be as short as I think it is, this bitch flips out. She keeps looking like, where's my hair? I don't get it. What did you do to me? And then once that goes away, like, the you know, the feeling of being naked, I guess. Um, she's good, but the, I specifically did it today. Um, so if she had any physical issues, let's not even go there. Um, you know, my vet is available. Let's just say that. So, um, these guys will be here all day and, um, not that I'm required to be here, um, but I did give them access to my bathroom. Thank God for puppy gates. Puppy gates are the best thing in the whole wide world. Um, so we are cordoned off to the living room and the dining room. Kitchen area is off limits. And the bathroom is off limits to the girls. So they can't do, you know, donuts in the house. They can just come around here. So in actuality... Thank God. Um, the shed should be finished in two days. Then the real fun comes. I have to paint it. Um, painting was not in the budget. Um, so I'm hoping... They have some cans of paint around here. I just don't know if they're good. I don't know what color they are. All I know is they're outside and I'm going to see if I can use them. Um, or I just take my ass to Home Depot and get some least expensive outdoor paint um, that I can find. And I don't know how many gallons it's going to take. All I'm going to is probably just show the picture to some person I can get a hold of. Good luck on that. Either at Home Depot or Lowe's, which is basically impossible. And um, I'm going to try to recreate my home um, and the other city that I left. So it's going to be white with gray trim, probably like a charcoal gray or like a blue gray. Um, but we'll see what they have. I mean, if I have to do black and white or whatever in white, the point being white, it's going to keep the house cooler. Um, because it is a wood shed, I would say mm, I want to say probably about 75% of the day it's in shade, a little bit of partial sun, and then the sun really hits it probably, well now that we're in daylight savings time, maybe from three to seven, I want to say it's, you know, it's only going to be on one side, the sun. I have a big tree that my neighbors, God, please don't let them cut it <laughs> because I'd be really screwed because that's the majority of the shade. Um, and then the door and the windows are going to face my kitchen. So it'll all be explained, and I'm sorry this is all like jarbly, but um, I've got a plan. I just have to implement the plan. So once the shed gets built, um, I think it's best to paint first and then move all the kids in because obviously they're going to need air in there and the windows are going to have to be open, and I don't want the paint fumes 
going in the house, in their house. So yeah, I'll probably be doing that this weekend. Um, I'm hoping, possibly, maybe my friend will come down and help, but it may just be a project that I do myself. And if that's what it is, that's what it is. Um, I'll just wait and see how it looks. I wish I could um, insert a picture. I wish I could... Um, I am going to pause you. I'm going to pull it up on my tablet, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, so I am back. So I'm going to try to do this and not... I don't even know how I'm going to do this without, like... So this is what it looks like. You know, granted, this is the painted look. Um, so it's going to have two windows, you know, two doors. And it's a 12 by 8. So, yeah, I'm trying to get... Anyway, so you'll get the gist of it. That's what it looks like. So, it's... Um, It's a lot of painting, coming to think about it. It's, um, yeah. I can't believe that palette is going to look like this house. But, I guess, whatever. So, I'm just excited to, um, oh, I mean, I feel so, so badly. All I want to do is, I know I keep saying this, all I want to do is go home to my other home um, this morning Kamali and I of course and there's a reason for this um, we had to return a hand truck that I was um, borrowing when I was packing up boxes and stuff and the woman the woman lived in the same city that I was in so she we were going back and forth and back and forth and I'm like, well, I wasn't sure if I would need it tomorrow, if Costco would need me to move something or hold on one second. Okay. I just want to make sure like <laughs> I got scared. I was like, who's in my driveway? Um, so long story short, you know, she's like, just text me when you plan on coming because I live in an apartment and I'm like, and I know the area. Hello. I live there all my life. Um, parking is very challenging, just like it is here. Um, if you live in an apartment building, obviously there is no par parking. If you're like visiting somebody. Um, and I honestly, I pulled it up on Google maps. So I knew what the apartment building looked like before I was getting even there. So I texted her last night and I said, you know, I'd like to bring all three dogs with me to take them for a little ride. Um, would you be able to come down and get it? No response. This morning. I still am waiting for an answer with you, for you, from you. Are you able to come down and get it? No response. So I just said, well, screw it. I mean, if you're not going to give me an answer and I'm not going to leave the girls in the car for one millimeter of a second... I told Kamali, let's, let's jam. So we left here at eight. Traffic is really, really bad on the freeway. Um, but we got there. I barely found one parking spot. Oh, well, let's back up. I pulled up to her apartment building, put on my flashers. I text her again. I am here. Can you please come to my car and get it? No response. So luckily somebody had pulled out literally the next street down. I pulled in there really fast. I already had the hand truck in the back of my car, held Kamali, and wheeled it to her apartment door. Literally got to my car. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't able to. Lexi. Nice. Noodle, 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 noodle. Stop. You know, oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't able to come down. I'm like, seriously? I email you, I mean, I text you like you tell me to four times. 
it's just, you know, I appreciate being able to use it for two weeks that I had it. But you can't come out of your apartment, throw a sweatshirt on, and just come get it from me. You're going to make me carry my dog, wheel the truck, go into your apartment complex, which is being painted. So there's tarps and there's men and there's scaffolding everywhere. And I'm like, really? Thanks. So we did that this morning. And right now I'm just... Um, Trying to get this one right here to take a nap so she has plenty of energy for the grooming session. So, yeah, um, let me take you over here. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to do this on the sly. Because I don't want them thinking I'm filming them. Oh my god. Okay, really fast. I don't know if you guys can see out my window. There it is. Yeah. Pieces of my house. Pieces of the shed. So, I wish I would have taken a picture or like shown you the palette because it was, it was scary. And I know it was a ton because I had called the um, delivery company yesterday and um, they were running an hour late. I'm like, where's the shed? Where's the shed? We sat here from 10 to 2 and I knew it was going to be closer to 2. It was 3.30 and I'm like, oh my God, a waste of a day. So anyways, um, I'll be doing a video update later on today once they leave and show you I like to document this as well just for you know for fun for progress um to see nothing you know begin something um so anyways I started to say the cats are just driving me crazy in this house and I mean I feel incredibly bad that I can't just open the door and say here's your new backyard have a great time come back whenever you want um they will flip out, they will freak out, and I will lose them. So, um, I'm just hoping that once they get in the backyard, once, I don't know, I don't know, I just, knowing me, I, I don't know, it's, do you risk it, you know, just because you think they're, they're sad or they're miserable or they're, you know, right now they're locked up in a room. But, you know, that's a nice room. <laughs> it's got a futon. It's got uh, a fan. It's got a litter pan. It's got two huge kitty condos. It's got um, an automatic water feeder. It's got an automatic uh, food feeder. They have each other. Life is not that bad. It's just... It's just different. So I just wish, you know, part of me this morning just wanted to, and st the street that I was on, um, I would normally go right to go home, to go to my other house, the other house. Um, but I had to go left. So instead of going north, I had to go south. And I was like, you know, if I had the time, which I didn't have the time, um, all I want to do is go, go back. But um, I will be probably going back, not tomorrow, but probably now Friday. Um, I'm going to take all of us, I think, possibly, because my neighbor is feeding... Bella, the feral cat that I couldn't take because he is, and I did say he and she, her, his name is Bella because I thought it was a girl. Um, and he knows his name. Um, he is straight up feral. Like I can't get near him. So 
She said she was seeing him and trying to take care of him. But um, I feel it's only right and the right thing for me to do is to drop off some cat food. Like a, a case of cat food and a half a bag of, of dry food. And maybe, just maybe, um, that's why I'm sort of debating, like, again, the chosen child, you know, just to take Kamiley and possibly go in my neighbor's backyard and, and call for Bella that, you know, he'll hear my, my voice and maybe it will lure him over to my neighbor's backyard. I don't know. I feel like I just, I feel like I just left him, you know, one day you had a hot, you know, I don't want to say a hot meal, but like every day you would have a meal, possibly two meals. Every morning he was waiting there for me out my kitchen window and it just breaks my heart that, that I couldn't bring him, but I couldn't, there was nothing I could do. I just... It's still very hard. It's still, I don't know why I have a hard time in the mornings. Like, you know, you just, I guess I wake up and I just, I don't want to say, I, I think it's, you know, I want it to be a bad dream or something, but I want this to be just a dream that I'm going to get to go home and then things get better. Throughout the day, sorry, this is not all crying. This is this is allergies as well. Um, I've had horrible allergies, so um, I just can't explain it. It's the morning that's the hardest. It's just I don't know. But as the day goes on, it gets better, and um, you know, I just have to accept this is. This is our new normal. This is our new life. But, um, you know, it's just hard. It's just hard. So, um, sorry ending on Debbie Downer note, but, um, I'm going to get off of here and just try to relax and chill a little bit. Um, I'm very fortunate that I can literally walk to Subway for lunch. Um, Obviously, I have to tip the groomer. That is if, you know, things go good. And all I have is a 20, and I'll be damned if I'm going to tip you 20 bucks. That's not happening. So I thought I would go and um, get myself a $3 six inch sub. They have a promotion going right now. And break my 20 and um, get ready to sit here. When she arrives at noon, it is a two-hour appointment. Hopefully less, because she's probably going to look at... Hold on one sec. Yeah! Okay, sorry about that. I'm surprised I didn't hit stop, or I'm surprised <laughs> I didn't lose you guys. Anyway, I'm going to end it now. So, um, stay tuned for more updates, um, more videos of this whole journey of mine, and I hope everybody has a great day. Bye.